Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we're talking about clearing out your space. Does your space feel welcoming or uninviting? When you enter your space, do you feel like you can relax or does it feel chaotic? Is your home a sanctuary or filled with reminders of what needs to be done? Let's end our month focusing on 10 minute decluttering tips. Are you ready to clear your clutter and share your gifts with the world? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join me on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out as I teach you how to navigate the waters to declutter your life, get organized, and become more mindful. I'm an award-winning professional organizer, author, and certified life coach, and I destroy the box and examine clutter in all areas. Every episode, I'll give you take action steps that you can easily apply to your life. Come on, let's get started. Announcement, announcement, announcement. That's what we used to do at 4-H camp. I just want to give you a heads up. I will talk about it definitely next August, but I'm really excited. I am going to be doing a successful school year mastermind, and it's really about helping both parents and kids. I, right now, if you go to reawakenyourbrilliance.com and you look under home, you'll see events. I have some information up, but I'm so excited about this. I had to share it now. Today's episode was inspired because so often Tony and I are told how good our space feels. Honestly, I give a lot of the credit to Antonio, Joey, and Athena. I think that they do a lot and they have such wonderful energy and that they really do make the difference. I know when I come home after a long day of work, I can truly relax in my space and I know how important that is. I've been in work environments where I've been completely stressed out, haven't been able to relax, and my home needs to be that sanctuary. I was also inspired to do the episode today because I was in a space recently and I just had to hightail it out of Dodge. It felt so awful to be there. Even when you simply clear your clutter, you can feel the difference. I want you to take a moment and think about that. When you've cleared clutter, especially if you've had a lot, or even if you have just organized a space, can you feel the difference? Why not take that awesome feeling a step further and clear some energetic clutter? Because this is the month when we're focusing on 10 minute decluttering tips, simply pick one room or space that you would like to clear. It may be an area that feels stuck or cranky, or one that you've been avoiding. Now the fun part, picking how you want to clear your space. If you begin to clear your space on a regular basis, there are many different ways you can do this. Have fun with this and experiment. Here are some suggestions. Now, if you're listening on the podcast, you might also want to check out my YouTube channel because we're going to have fun and have a little bit of show and tell now. Something that you can use is sage. Here's a nice big thick stick I have that someone brought me from New Mexico. So what you do with this is you simply light it and you smudge it. And then what you do is you'll blow it out and then you'll see a stream of smoke come. So this is a way that you can use to clear space. I like to do this when I have had people in the home. I just, we all have our energy. It is what it is. No good or bad. I like to keep our energy here. You can also use essential oils. Now, this is um, a formula that I have. I'm going to spray myself right now on the crown chakra. But there are different formulas. This is a holy harmony mist that I use to open up my crown chakra. But you can get, make your own. I love Eden's Garden essential oils because you don't have to go through a multi-level marketer. And I have a lot of fun with that. You can also use seashells. This is a beautiful seashell that someone gave me and that I use, making sure we get a good shot there. And I have a little, little mini smudge stick. And what I do is I like to take the seashell 
and have a smudge underneath to catch the ashes. You can also use sound. This was my Christmas present this year. I love this. It's a crystal bowl. That was for the root chakra in case you are wondering. Sound is also really groovy to you. You could take a flower and put some salt water. I love ocean water. The ocean, every time I go to the beach, I can relax, I recharge, and I always like to bring home a little bit of water from the ocean. So you could put that and put your flower and kind of dri dribble some uh, water on it and go around and use that to clear energy. Simply clapping your hands. And remember, get those corners. We tend to have a lot of stuck energy in corners. One thing I suggest as you're going around, what do you want to release from the room? If you feel a lot of anger, perhaps there's sadness, perhaps there's anxiety. What is it do you want to clear as you're going around? If you don't have a sound bowl, you can use bells, you can use wind chimes. Get creative with it. It's all about the intention. It doesn't have to be some fancy thing. If you are using something that makes you feel good and you set the intention, it's going to work. I want to learn more about tuning forks. We had an animal healer come in when we first adopted Athena, and I'm looking forward to finding out much more about that. But it is a two-pronged fork. Sorry, no show and tell on this one. And it resonates at a specific pitch. It is just another way to clear your clutter. And there's apparently a realtor in California that has used this to great success to help clear clutter to get houses sold. So I think that's fantastic. Are you surrounded by clutter? Are you exhausted from the stress your clutter creates? Are you anxious every time you walk into your home? Do you long for peace of mind? Go to reawakenyourbrilliance.com to learn how I can support you. You can use crystals. Here, I have a couple crystal wand here. We have this for self-love. Another crystal, I just had a couple to hear. What feels good to you? If you're looking for a crystal, what makes sense? Like I just showed the rose quartz, which is about self-love. Maybe that's what you'd like to bring into your environment once you've cleared it. You could also use music. Some people are gonna suggest it's gotta be high vibing music. I'm going to suggest what makes you feel good? What brings you joy? We get stuck sometimes and it has to be done in a certain way. Intention is so powerful and such a huge part of it. As you're going around with whatever tools make the most sense to you, choose to release. Is it negative energy, sadness, stuck energy, whatever you'd like from the room? After I have cleared the cluttered energy, I also take time to fill up the room. I think of my intention for the space and what I want to bring into it and envision that in the room. I also have these groovy prayer beads that I like to use as I set the intention. I do this, and I haven't heard of anyone else doing it. That doesn't mean they haven't, but because it helps me focus. It feels good to me to use these and do that way. What would you like to bring into your space? More love? More abundance? A relationship? Visualize that after you've cleared the energy. And I encourage you, go back around the room. You've cleared it in whatever manner you cleared it. Go back through and set the intention. Before I move in anywhere and after I leave a place, I do a thorough space clearing. It allows me to set the intention if I am moving in and if I'm leaving, have closure and leave a clean slate for new people moving in. You may want to consider doing the same. Remember, energetic clutter can have just as much of an effect on us as any other kind of clutter. Take actions from today's podcast. Pick one room or area that you would like to clear. 
If you haven't cleared your space before, pick a way that appeals to you. If you clear your space regularly, try something new. Think about what you are choosing to release from your space as well as the intention you want to set. If you enjoy this, begin to practice space clearing on a regular basis. Next month, we'll focus on back, back, back to school again. Oh, oh, I gotta go. Oh, whoa, oh, I gotta go back to school again. Yes, it's true. I'm not a professional singer. I know you're all shocked. Thought we'd have a little bit of fun with it today. And if you don't know where that came from, all I will say is the original first one was much better. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Are you ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? Sign up for our newsletter at reawakenyourbrilliance.com and receive a free copy of 10 Steps to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. If you enjoyed today's episode, I would love it if you would rate and review the show because it really helps us in the search ranking. See you next Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Remember, when you clear your clutter, you can create the life you desire.